Hey there, Bella Vista. Welcome to a special edition of Let's Talk About It. We have decided uh, to document the progress of the renovation of Reardon Hall. You know, it has an incredible history, and it will be 50 years old next year in 2023. So, this is the first of a series that we're going to do for you to help you understand where Reardon came from, where it's going, and then the unveiling of the new building. So, let's get started with a walkthrough <clears throat> of the progress of the building right now, what's happening. Good morning, this is J.B. Portella with the Bella Vista Community Television Station and my good friend, Joan Glubzinski. Right. <laughs> I get a gold star for saying it right. You okay. Do. Joan, our mission here today is to do a quick walkthrough to let people know a little bit about the history of this building behind us and where it's going, where it came from and where it's going. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, we're excited. This is Reardon Hall, as many people know. It's about 50 years old, and it was one of the original rec centers, amenities in uh, the Bella Vista Property Owners Association. And you can see we're already um, underway with demo, and some of my team are loading up some of the remaining fitness equipment that will go into storage. We have gotten rid of a lot of old pieces because when we come back, it's gonna be bright and shiny and new and exciting. Uh, this building has been used for a variety of things, including um, old dances that used to be held in the auditorium. Uh, they used to, believe it or not, smoke meat out back ah. and uh, serve <laughs> food in the building. In fact, my office is in the old smokehouse, which is a separate building behind uh, this. And. Um, so you're going to see a completely different front. You can see how dark this is. We're going to cut out part of this and it's going to be exposed, bringing in more light. And we're going to bring this building into uh, modern times. Excellent. And ready to serve the diverse community that we have here in Bella Vista. So I'm excited for one. Okay, shall we go inside? Yeah, let's go inside to the auditorium. Okay. Okay. I can't wait. This whole room right here, the reception will look totally Completely different. Completely different. Can you give us kind of an idea? Sure. Um, actually, when they walk in, they're going to be checking in over here. This uh, big area is sort of a uh, wasted space. And so people will walk in this way and then be able to enter over on this side or they can go into the auditorium or they'll be able to go to the left to the fitness center. Okay, excellent. Uh, shall we go on into the auditorium? Let's do or it. What, I guess it'll still be an auditorium, won't it? It will be. Hi, Joan. Hi. That was a great uh, shot of you working with the uh, construction folks. Good. Yeah. Uh, so, why don't you give us a quick run through? You gave a little history on what went on in here, but you know the drill. History yeah. and then where are we going? Yeah. So this is an auditorium. We used to have a stage that was built in, but it was used very uh, seldomly. Um, but this room serves as the highest utilized room uh, in the building. We do everything from large scale fitness classes in here. We do dance classes. We've had large dances here. Um, we've even had concerts in here. Um, we're going to remove that stage and that area will become storage because we need one big area for storage. A lot of times when people come in reared and they see stacks of chairs and tables in the corners because this building wasn't built with the right type of storage. We will have a portable stage that we can move in and out when we need to and it'll be a smaller scale, but it'll be a more efficient use. We'll continue to have fitness classes in this room. We, we have fitness classes every day of the week that take up all morning long in this room, and that's a big need for us. We're gonna replace this current flooring, which is yeah. old parquet and mm -hmm. some old laminate around the side, and it will be a multi-purpose flooring, um, which will allow us to do fitness classes. It'll allow us to bring chairs out when we have big meetings. <clears throat> We do some town halls here. I was just going to say, this is the largest building in the community, and we really like it for town halls. Mm -hmm. We use it for town halls. We even rent it out for wedding receptions. I didn't know so that. So we'll continue to do that. Okay. <clears throat> but it will be much more modern. We will be putting down um, 
pickleball courts. So there'll be two pickleball courts. So we will have some program time for pickleball. Um, we're hoping to also have a small portable basketball hoop that can be used just to shoot around. We don't have the space to do full basketball, but we know that adults and children will appreciate having at least an indoor hoop that they can shoot around. So it really truly will be a multi-purpose space. Excellent. You know, I, knew, I know that you are moving the fitness center to the other side of the building. Do you want to uh, maybe uh, I think they're tearing the ceiling down over there now, so it's probably are. not a good idea well, to go that way, but it, could we go that way? We and, can walk in the hallway real quick and okay. get, a, get a shot, and then I'll take you to the other side of the building. That, that works. Where it's going to be. Okay, so we'll go through here. So... This is the side where the old gym used to be. So tell us about this. Well, we're on the part of this side, but this is not the fitness center. This is one of our small meeting rooms. Mm. To be honest with you, it's not uh, very useful because most of our groups need a little bit more space than that. So we'll be uh, moving some walls and making spaces that are a little bit more relevant. But you can tell the demo is well underway. Yes. And we'll walk down the hall and I'll show you where the old fitness center was mm -hmm. and we'll uh, we'll show you where the new fitness center is going to go. Sounds like a plan. Joan, I know that renovating a 50-year-old building has to be, uh, there has to be a lot of challenges. Tell us about that. Yeah. What, what's your biggest challenges? Well, along with making this building more accessible and more relevant to our diverse community now, mm -hmm. um, this building has 50-year-old infrastructure. HVAC systems that are outdated, electrical, plumbing. We're not even up to code with the number of bathrooms. So we'll be addressing all that. So I do worry about that, not so much now that we're closed, but I did worry about that a lot. You know, when an HVAC system goes down and you're not able to accommodate the needs of the building. So we'll be addressing all that. And you're, you were losing a lot of air and heat and everything from uh, the old yeah. structure. Yeah. So what's in this room, Joan? Well, this used to be our fitness center. So, Joan, this room used to be the gym? This used to be the fitness center, and you can tell that over the years we have added on. If you look right over here, this bulkhead, we extended the fitness center, and the bottom line is it still wasn't big enough. Wow. So uh, when we uh, get done remodeling, we will be moving this fitness center to the other side, and it will be uh, about a thousand square feet bigger than this. Gotcha. So uh, let me ask you something. Uh, I know you just said that this particular part of the building was added on. Were there other parts of the building that were expanded? Uh, there was some outdoor storage areas built that aren't heated or climate controlled. Those are going away. The outside of the building is going to have new siding. It's in pretty poor shape. Um, but that was one of the main things. And then when we get to the back of the building, I'll show you another add-on. Okay, good. That's fine. So now we're going to go see where the new fitness center Absolutely. is, correct? Absolutely. Okay. By the way, before we go there, in case you're wondering what's going to happen over here, this yes. will be a large meeting space um, in the new facility. So would it be divided where you can make it smaller We'll have ones? one divider. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the flooring in here obviously is going to be... Uh, it'll be a multi-purpose flooring, not mm -hmm. for, um, not the same as the auditorium, but like a high luxury grade laminate that will hold, withhold to all our traffic. Excellent. Okay. So let's go back out here and go to the other side. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So this is where the new fitness center will be? Yes. And this side of the building will be the new fitness center. In fact, over here, there will be an entrance to get into the fitness center after hours. So you are, our plan is to have a 24-hour access for adults only um, to this fitness area. So uh, the rest of the building will be closed off, but say after 8 p.m., people can still come in and work out as long as they have the proper card they'll be able to scan in. So is this going to be moved out any? It's going to be moved out a little bit and it's going to be bumped out out the front side as well and then we're going to go much farther down the hallway. Okay.
well. <laughs> One of the things that they're doing in this room is improving the acoustical ceiling. Gotcha. So, you know, sound prevention, traveling when this building is full is important. So that's why they're taking down the old ceiling. We'll put more modernized acoustical uh, ceiling up. And we're actually standing where there will be a couple of more smaller meeting rooms um, that will be more efficient. Okay, good, good. Let's go on down the yeah. hall and get to the next spot. So Joan, what was this room? It looks totally different than the rest of the building. Well, this was an add-on over the, over the years. You can see the exterior wall there. Um, this became a billiards room, and um, part of this space is going to be um, a group fitness room, and um, we will be actually having a pool table out front in the lobby. So this was outside? Yes, yes, this gotcha. was an add-on. Gotcha, Under okay. Under here is concrete. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so let's go back behind the stage, huh? Is yes. that what's down this hallway? Yes. Okay, so Joan, this is an interesting looking room. <laughs> Tell me about this. This is where the old Whirlpool used to be. It was very underutilized and is a very expensive part of the building to run. Plus, we're going to utilize some of this space for um, expanded restrooms and uh, family changing rooms. And one of the exciting things that we're going to put in is um, infrared saunas. So oh. these will be um, the new age sauna where the light, the red light, yes. penetrates the body and warms the body. And it's very low key, but it's very accessible to everybody. We're excited about that. Oh, that's a wonderful upgrade. Really is. So where are we going next, Joan? I think we're about done for now, unless you want to look at a bunch of old toilets. <laughs> uh, I think you know what those look like. I, yeah, I do. I, I really do. So um, let's let's walk back out this way and maybe close for today. So I think we're wrapping up for the day. What are we going to look forward to in the future? What's well, coming up? Well, um, appreciate you guys coming out to see what is evolving. And I think in a couple of months, you'll come back and do another shoot. Mm -hmm. And also, I'd like to tell the POA members that they should um, watch the newsletters when we get a little further down the line with this project. We'll be uh, actually offering community tours. Tom Judson will help lead those. And we'll be able to show you in person what's going on. So stay tuned. Thanks again, Joan. This is J.B. Portello for Let's Talk About It, Bella Vista Community Television. Okay, so now that was fun. Let's cut over and talk to Tom Judson about maybe some of the concepts and the fact that the, what the members wanted for the renovation of Reardon Hall. Let's go see Tom. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Going great. All right. Well, as you know, I think you know, we just did a great walkthrough of Reardon Hall with Joan. Outstanding. It was wonderful. I mean, she had people loading up a fitness equipment and ceilings were coming down. It was amazing. <laughs> so now I thought maybe to just round this document out that you could go over that great presentation you did for the, the public mm -hmm. back in February, I believe. Yeah. So okay. it was the first part of the year. And uh, this is the presentation that we gave to the board, which was uh, getting them to authorize the expenditure of funds to do the project. And so uh, I'll, I'll go through the slide presentation and we can talk about uh, some of the stuff. Just keep in mind, a lot of the um, uh, diagrams are conceptual. Uh, so things may have changed since then. Some of these diagrams are six, seven months old. So uh, don't, don't hold me to it 100% on and what they look like. Gotcha. But uh, the, so this picture is uh, of Reardon Hall in 1973 uh, and notice this picture was taken earlier this year. It pretty much looks the same. Yep. Uh, we, we've nailed the Pizza Hut look. Yes, you um, have. <laughs> and uh, so uh, it definitely, we need some uh, improvement on that. Um, also, so on the left-hand side, we have a picture circa 1984. Uh, looks like some card players enjoying themselves. And then the same room in 22 earlier this year. Once again, nothing much has changed over the years and it's, it's pretty much the same and it's just seeing the building is seeing its age um, uh, what was interesting i had a conversation with joan just a, a couple days ago 
and uh, the contractor's pulling stuff off the ceiling and all that stuff. And he, he pointed to multiple areas where, yeah, the building should have burned down because of that. The building should have burned down because of that. Ooh. And we and we had a, uh, a, a pretty bad incident about a year ago where we could have lost the building. So it's, it's time to get reared and done. Um, so if you recall, uh, about a year ago at this time, we did a survey. We asked uh, our membership their opinion on a lot of different things. We received 12,000 responses. And here are just a few of the responses regarding Reardon in particular. Reardon is showing its age. Reardon needs a better gym uh, and is updated. Re uh, replace Reardon Hall. You know, all of them very consistently saying the same thing about Reardon Hall uh, being dated. There's a please update oh, Reardon Hall there's on a there. Please. Someone was polite <laughs> about it, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, uh, so we asked the membership, what was most important about a new Reardon? If we were to create a new building, what was most important? And fitness, by far, 32%, 33% fitness is the most important. Um, clubs and group space uh, uh, was second most. Uh, fitness dance, auditorium, uh, indoor pickleball was important. What was least important, the performance stage and the kitchen. Uh, and so in developing our plans for, I just call it, right now I call it New Reardon. Mm -hmm. We're going to come up with a better name than that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going to go out to the membership and, and have them help us create this new name. But for right now, I'm just going to call it New Reardon. Uh, so it, it's this information really helped guide us in the development of the plans for the building. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so what's most important? Uh, fitness, dance space, auditorium. What's least important? Uh, performance stage, whirlpool, snicker billiards. Um, and and I, I, I always want to recognize there are this, the groups that this in, information or this uh, part of Reardon was important, but we got to try and please as many people as possible. So uh, we really scaled way down on the snookers, the billiards offering in the new building. The performance stage is gone, but we're going to have a, a portable stage. Yes, that's what Jones um, mentioned as well. So, uh, so critical goals, um, update the building, uh, renovate, refresh and modernize. Uh, when we took the architect architects out to take a look at um, uh, Reardon Hall, we also took them out to Branchwood. And we said, we'd not, it doesn't have to be exactly like this, but this look and this feel, this modernization, this is a really good example of what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, uh, expanding the fitness area and having 24 uh, seven access to the fitness area. So with our North Star system that we're gonna be implementing in the first part of next year, uh, that will allow us when we open up New Reardon to have 24 hour access. If you want to work out at two o'clock in the morning, go for you it. You go right ahead. I'm <laughs> going to roll over and keep on sleeping, but right. you go right ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, ensure uh, adequate meeting space. We, we could have a building twice the size and not, and still not have enough space for the 300 some of clubs that are in uh, Bella Vista. Uh, auditorium indoor pickleball uh, capability would be great fitness, um, and then replace insulation. We had like very limited insulation. So we were doing, we were doing an outstanding job heating the outside elements, <laughs> uh, which is not good for the, uh, power bill. No. So, no. uh, we're using bowling short, uh, that's the, uh, architectural firm. Uh, we feel very comfortable with them. They have 30 years of experience. Um, uh, well, at least Joe does, and, and Christy has 20 years of experience uh, in the specific field. We wanted to make sure we had people that worked on fitness facilities. Mm -hmm. uh, just because you're a great architect for restaurants doesn't necessarily mean you're a great architect for fitness. And uh, so we wanted to make sure we uh, had someone that would be, a, be able to do, do a good job. And, and so here's some of the work that they did um, uh, with a previous firm they worked for, but they were the lead uh, for um, uh, fitness area at uh, U of A um, and uh, some more pictures. And so we really feel comfortable uh, they're going to be able to do a great job for us. And remember, I put this presentation together in February. Mm -hmm. We now have 
all these months of working with this architectural firm and and uh, we really feel comfortable with that we, ch we chose the right firm. Good. Uh, so here's kind of a look of what uh, New Reardon may look like. At, at the time that we were presenting this, we were thinking that we were going to name it The Hub. We're now going to go back to the membership and, and ask them. So whether it's The Hub, New Reardon, it's the work in progress name. But what I like in particular is how the, the entryway is kind of, we've we're cutting into that to add more light into the men, uh, into the entry area. Um, you kind of have a courtyard in the front. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is the entryway. So uh, this would be the lobby reception area. So that screen where it says, uh, that area that says uh, Bella Vista Hub, that's where you actually would check in. We would have one pool table here. We, we're not going to have the build, the big pool room and snooker room, um, but we'll have one uh, and so people can hang out, uh, talk and chat while they're playing pool. So that'll work out. But this will be a much better welcoming entrance to the facility. Um, this is uh, the fitness area, kind of a conceptual look of what it could look, uh, look like. Um, yeah. And meeting spaces. Lots of meeting spaces. You'll see that uh, in this picture, it, it has uh, where we have the wall that can we can uh, yes. add the wall in to separate out, so yes. we can have two groups going at the same time. And then, so here is um, now this this uh, diagram or this uh, plan was uh, six months old, so we've made a lot of changes to it since then. Um, but you'll see on the bottom section, we really uh, have pretty much doubled the size of the uh, fitness area. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Uh, it was it was too small the way it was before. It was not meeting the needs of our membership. You know, very narrow, confined and so forth. So this is going to expand that area. We're going to have a weight area also, which a lot of people, they want to do the cardio, but then they want to lift weights. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you'll notice uh, on the bottom right, where we actually have, um, uh, you'll be able to enter the building from uh, the outside. So we'll be able to isolate the fitness area, just the fitness area. You can come in, you can use the gym facilities, you can use the restroom if you need to while you're working out, but you won't be able to get into the rest of the building. So you can't go and cause mayhem. And, uh, and we'll have a camera on the front entryway, so we'll know it's you, JB, that came in and did all that nasty stuff. Not at 2.30 in the morning. No, wait, maybe 4. May, no, 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 not, not even there. then. Okay. But you know what Joan was saying the other day on the cardio thing, where you're bumping the wall out a little bit, and mm -hmm. then the other way too, out more toward the front, that you're mm -hmm. bumping the wall out a little bit more. So. And it, it will add more symmetry to the building, because mm -hmm. at one point they expanded uh, the right side of the building, they bump that out, and so it's kind of disjointed right mm -hmm. now. So this will match it. So uh, it's. I think we're only adding about a thousand square feet. I could be wrong on that. Um, so yeah. Um, and pretty much every surface that you see will be renovated. So the flooring, the walls, the ceiling, everything needs work. It's it's really the building has served the community well for a long time but it needs to be, you know, it's knocking on the door 50 years old. Yes. Uh, so here's the lobby area um, uh, where you can come in and you, you'll check in. So uh, the parking lot, let's say, is on the right-hand side, not pictured in this, in, in this uh, view. And then you come in uh, and you're going to check in. But you'll notice that the, we have the offices there, the restrooms there. We're going to have to renovate those. They need work. They need a lot of work. Um, uh, and uh, the the pool area, uh, as in billiards. Yes. And then here's the fitness area. So this is the expanded version. Uh, so if you were to uh, see where that hallways, where those entrances are on the yes. bottom left, that's the original line of the building, and so it's kind of it's coming out just a little bit. And then if you were to where it says uh, restrooms. Um, on the top right, 
that's where the line is, where the new portion is being added. So we're adding a lot of square footage, so we'll have double the square footage for fitness, which is the main ask. Remember when we went out to the membership, 33, 34% of them said fitness, and then the next best, you know, the next most important item was 11%. So that's, yes. you know, three times the amount want fitness. So we have to listen. That's it. Uh, the auditorium, uh, we're going to be able to, th now this is going to be a multi-purpose facility. Uh, one of the things that we're going to have is lines in the ground uh, on the floor uh, for pickleball. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe you have uh, yoga at nine o'clock and they finish up at 10 and then you put out uh, temporary netting and from 10 to 11 you have pickleball. And then from 11 to 12, you have something else going on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so it, it'll allow you to uh, do a lot of different things. You know, pickleball is, is absolutely growing and growing, growing in our community. We have, by the end of this year, we'll have 10 courts, mm. but it'd be nice to have two indoors uh, so that when it's really hot or really cold, we can accommodate some needs. Right. Um, the other good the thing about the auditorium, you know, that's the largest building in Bella Vista. And we can't yes. have town hall meetings without, it's still going to be there, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, the restrooms are going to need some work. Uh, I, I know that this plan has been updated. Um, Joan says uh, in her thing, instead of that hot tub, they're now going to have the infrared, uh, the, the red uh, saunas. Oh, yeah, okay. that's what she said. Right. You know, that whirlpool thing, uh, hot tub goes away. And that's exciting because that's new technology. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, you know, she's got the most updated information. Um, the contractor, we're going to be using uh, Kinko. And yeah. uh, again, we're very comfortable with Kinko. They did the work on the country club that we're sitting in right now. Mm -hmm. They did Branchwood, um, uh, Lake Point. And uh, so we feel very comfortable uh, that they're going to be able to do a great job for yes, us. Yes, yes. And so our plan is, is October-ish <laughs> <laughs> of uh, next year, uh, we'll have the 50th uh, anniversary celebration for New Reardon. So, and the unveiling of the new name, whatever that turns out to be. Absolutely. Oh, that'll be fabulous. So it's, it's, it, we're really looking forward to it. It's, it's time. We needed to do it. We needed to get the job done. Uh, it's our it, our most used building in the community, 20,000 square feet. And so uh, it needs a lot of work. Well, before we go, because mm -hmm. thank you for doing this, by the way, but I know, as always, you are very good about doing periodic, when it's safe, walkthroughs for the public. Absolutely. We're going to do those again um, probably six months from now. Uh -huh. Right now, they're they're just ripping stuff out. Right. So there's really nothing to see right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, once we start getting closer, uh, we will absolutely do it. We uh, we've done that for every building we've renovated, where we do it like what twice a month. We do a walkthrough. We the contractor's really good about kind of clearing a path, and we do it in groups and everything. And it's 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 fun. It it builds enthusiasm because the membership gets to see what we're going to be what we're doing. Um, so there's a lot of excitement. And at the end of the day, it's the membership's money. That's right. And so we're doing it for them, and we want them to see what we're doing. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. This is this is exciting. And uh, Bella Vista Community TV it intends to document this whole process. So this is our first show. Right. We're going to probably go into some history. Uh, you know, I didn't know John anything about John Reardon before, but I, right. I'm learning so much. He was a go-getter. Yeah, yeah. From what I understand. So we'll be doing that. We'll come back and talk to you. Anytime you want us to come back and you're like, hey, it's time to <laughs> do another. So, Outstanding. Okay. So thanks again. You got it. I appreciate you very much. All right. Okay, this is JBE Portello. Thank you for being with us today. We're looking forward to bringing you even more things like this. So stay tuned. This is Bella Vista Community Television. Hey, 
I hope you enjoyed that sneak preview. Uh, it's going to get even better as we go along through the next several months. So stay tuned. We will be back with you again. This is J.B. Portello for Let's Talk About It. See you next time.